Ernie Hatmaker here. <sighs> it's been a busy morning. More squash bugs have arrived. So much for the squash bugs. So I've got this mound of pine mulch mixed with soil. The soil's mostly on top. And there's more Georgia collard and kale seeds thrown in there. And um, with yesterday's rain and this rain, we ought to be doing pretty well with that. I found uh, another one of our gourds mixed into all this uh, grass and weeds and whatnot. I got a, a couple of things um, planted out here, mainly squash, and um, I think these four rows are all squash, and then I've got um, some perennial flowers over in the flatbed. I think I showed you guys that the other day. I didn't run out of mulch. I ran out of time yesterday. Um, to mulch all this paper and uh, cardboard. Um, I've got greens over in that area where you see the brown mixed with the black, that soil. Um, this is the kind of mulch that is easily turned to compost, so it's not going to take very long for this mulch to decompose, and so I'm just going to throw the soil on top of it. And we have the peas and um, a few greens here and there, um, some dwarf sunflowers mixed in, uh, the marigolds are doing great. The peas are um, getting ready to get tall. They are really growing. They're the peas. You can tell the difference in the pea sizes, uh, the ones that I sowed after the first one. And I did this consecutive sowing on purpose where um, I made sure that, you know, if we had a lot of hail, because we've had tornadoes and stuff, then the hail might get the first set, but the second set should be, you know, just coming out, and so it'd be spared. And I'm going to kind of keep doing that since our weather's so kooky. This time flowered the other day. Um... It was really pretty, and now the other time is flowering. I think that's kind of cool. I have not planted anything in this uh, stack palette yet. More diatomaceous earth all over the place. Greens and pinto beans. You guys saw that already. There's the Aradali pumpkin. I've got a few more that are ready to go, and it's not too early to do it here. We still have some weird cool days coming, so I think um, overall the pumpkin will do just fine. There's some dwarf sunflowers in there. And here we are in my Alibaba melon bed. I decided to use one of the... Um, ready-made beds that Ed brought, which, you know, I mean, this is not treated wood, it's not painted, um, it's just heat-treated, and you can see the, the HT down there, that's how you can tell it's heat-treated, so there's no microbes or anything like that in the wood, um, it was made to go overseas and not harbor any 
you know, little critters and whatnot. The same goes for this one. Um, but this bed has banana pepper seeds. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to try to uh, get a couple of stakes and put in here, depending on how tall they get. And this bed is the most interesting. It's got onions, carrots, and off the side, there's a tiny little melon planted in there. In this palette, I have planted cayenne pepper seed. I plan uh, on, you know, harvesting a little bit more cayenne pepper this year than I did last year. I only have one last year. This is our who did it, what for, and don't do it no more bed. This is where tomatoes are coming up that, you know, came out of repurposed soil. Um, there's kale and, and peppers and onions, <laughs> marigolds, just stuff is in, in here from all the repurposed soil. And it's really funny because this was all stuff that died, and yet it's alive. So we're just going to leave it be and see what happens. I've started planting my buckets. Um, if you can see, this place is starting to look a little bit geometric now, huh? Lots of squares and rectangles and the arches have buckets outside of them and there's climbing beans, um, some more uh, corbachi peppers. Um, I might have a gourd in there somewhere. <laughs> um, it's going to be a really interesting mix, but I haven't planted the last arch yet, and I'm waiting um, to put some, uh, maybe some Thai noodle beans, yard long beans in them. So this is where it gets interesting. I've got some peppers here. Um, one is a giant Marconi. Um, I had one last year, and it did pretty well. So the, I mean, the hornworms weren't very nice to it, but it survived. And I think that's a jalapeno, but I lost the label. Lupine and violas, and something's coming out, and I don't know what. These um, two blue buckets here with the cages are lemon starburst peppers, and I got them, uh, the seeds from McGee Homestead Adventures. I, I did not save any of the seeds from... Uh, the lemon starburst peppers I grew the year before, but McGee Homestead Adventures was gracious enough to send me more seeds. And then I decided, because the deal interacted with too many vegetables last year, to put the mammoth deal in its own bucket.